So, I know I'm cleared, but do you really think I'm ready? Yes. You know I never doubted you. But after watching you train over these last few weeks, I'm prouder than ever of the superstar you've become, and the person you've always been. Oh, Beth. You're gonna make me feel an emotion. Save that feeling, and instead make Naya feel your presence in the ring. Being a hard-working superstar doesn't put you above having the right to a little revenge. You deserve it. Another dominating win for Nia Jax has been on quite the tear recently here on Raw. Hold on, is that who I think it is? And she's back. She's taking it to Nia Jax. But Nia's giving it right back to her. Nia charges, and she goes head first over the ropes. Nia took her out with that vicious Samoan drop to the outside, and she's been out injured ever since. Finally, this is her chance for revenge. She's got a table. With the table, ramming it in the Nia's face. That's one way to get payback. I don't think she's finished. It looks like she's going to attempt to put Nia through the table. I know she's out for revenge, but she has to be smart. She could end up re-injuring herself in the process. After what Nia did to her, I don't think she cares. Up to the apron, the same apron that Nia Jack slammed her off of, putting her on the shelf. And down with a splash through the table. Unbelievable. It looks like that took a toll on her, too. Yeah, but she's the one standing tall, and Nia isn't. The following contest is a tables match. Making her way to the ring from Manila, Philippines, Casey Quinn. This superstar credits her time on the Indies as a major factor in her success in WWE. Indie experience aside, it didn't hurt to have Booker T, Shawn Michaels, and Beth Phoenix's help along the way. I've been looking forward to seeing Nia beat someone up. And from San Diego, California, Nia Jax! Jax has ruled the women's division since day one. It's been a long road back to the bright lights of WWE for Nia Jax's opponent. But tonight, she's finally clawed her way back. And it doesn't get any bigger than a tables match. It's a testament to Nia's opponent's courage. 
courage. This is insanity, Saxton. I already pulverized her opponent once, but I hope there's another medical facility nearby just in case it happens again. Whatever happens, we know someone... Uh-oh. Way too much. Jax cannot be overpowered. Oh, saw it coming. Nia's getting picked apart here. Nia's struggling, but still capable of a comeback. Springboard into a hurricane. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. DDT! Lights out. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. This is just brute power. Oh my goodness, absolute dominance. She's getting something from under the ring. A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. She's struggling to defend herself. Yeah, she keeps getting cut down at the pass. Just one run. Under the ropes and back into the ring. All right, she's back in, ready to go. Leaping into the wheelbarrow, up and around. Boom, DDT. Looking bad for her here. She's setting up a table in the corner. Something bad is about to happen here, guys. Not done just yet. Part two. And looking for the trifecta. Nicely done. Drop kicked all the way to the floor. Nia Jax just getting worked on here. Nia needs to find that irresistible force once more. A rope step to the outside, Tope Conhilo. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Back into the ring. Here. Yeah, she is absolutely showing no remorse. Turn to the ring now. Both knees into the face. And a beautiful swan time. Trifecta. 
wonton. Went into the corner now. Hooked up. And that's all she wrote. So perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat.